Hello my lovelies, this is Sims Fell, and welcome to episode 5 of the Sims 4 Red Rose Challenge. When we left off in the last episode, we started our very first gathering with Lord Leo's candidates with a brunch at the manor. Now this holiday is the dinner party, but the dinner party is actually going to take place later on, probably around 6 Depending on what the vampires get up to, if they get thirsty or not, we'll act according to that. But we basically invited all the males over a little bit earlier than initially anticipated. And we decided to check out how they interact with each other, what happens. As you can see, Lord Leo is over here sitting at his little study desk in his room. He's kind of invited the boys, or they've invited themselves, I guess, the bachelors, up to his private chambers. And uh, he called, I think, Red Rose over here so that they could have a private meeting with some of the guys. And he kind of went off for a bit to see if they would interact. Um, nothing much happened. Now, Red Rose was approached by two of the males. We had Caden Silva introduce himself to her, and then we had Augustine Reinhardt introduce himself to Lady Red Rose. And she spoke a little bit to them, but she was largely disinterested. And uh, then she decided to go off and do her own things. She's reading a book right about now, and I don't want to control her at all when the guys are over and that's because if anyone else has interaction with her I don't want it to be cut off by something I'm telling her to do so if anything well, it's largely going to be observational I'll probably get maybe Lord Leo and uh, Lady Prudence to do stuff around the place but I probably won't be controlling too much of Lady Red when the boys are over and we have Frankie Mead, who's actually done a great job. He's been in the room with Lady Red Rose, but he has not met her yet. He has not introduced himself to her, which is pretty awesome. And actually, it doesn't appear as though... Huh. So she hasn't met Augustine either. Interesting. I swear they spoke in the last episode. I guess not. But she only knows Caden, so he's kind of in the danger zone. We've also got um, Alfred Swain, who's downstairs, and he's been chumming up a lot to Lady Prudence, but he hasn't really tried to speak to Lady Red, which is quite interesting to see. So they're in the downstairs study right now. This is like the study slash library of the downstairs area where everyone likes lounging. The vampires like spending their time studying over here. Look at Alfred, he's doing great. He's meeting with Lord Leo, he's already talked heaps to Lady Prudence. That's awesome, I'm very proud of him. I do like Alfred quite a bit. And Lady Red is just going ahead playing some chess. It is 5 p.m. on a Wednesday, and it's very quickly approaching dinner time. So once 6 p.m. hits, we're gonna get Lady Prudence to go ahead and make a grand meal because she is the only one who has, well, the love for this tradition and the want to do that tradition. Lady Red and Lord Liu don't really want to do that or aren't exactly interested in it because they are mean sims so they don't exactly see the point. Now what was Lady Red going to get up to? She was going to join a game so she's going to be playing with one of these guys. And out of all the men, the bachelors, that have decided to come and also I noticed one of the males didn't even show up. Um, Malik Carl did not even attend the brunch and the dinner party, so I don't know what's going to happen with that. I guess it's good for him because that means he hasn't exactly gone ahead and put him in, himself in danger, but that's also not good because you're supposed to be attending these things. Otherwise, that's just cheaty. But that's his own decision not to attend, I guess. He might have his own reasons, and they're probably reasons that might even save his position over here in the Red Rose Challenge. But Caden and Augustine have been making a lot of efforts to go ahead and get close to Lady Red Rose. Now obviously, these guys don't really know how this whole thing works. It's like a private thing for the vampires. They know that if the men talk to them, or the first, yeah, I just want to check the autonomy is full, but they know that the first 11 men that they, you know, fall in love with or end up liking, they're going to end up rejecting. But the guys don't know that, so they're trying their best 
to get as close to her as possible because they think, oh yeah, obviously, the one who gets the closest to her is the one who's going to win her affections. Now, I don't know what's going on over here because she isn't exactly joining this game. I'm going to reset her in case something's wrong. Lady Prudence is going out here and joining the game, but Lady Red isn't, so I'm going to leave her. And look at that, Prudence is saying hello to the guests. Oh, now Lady Red wants to go talk to her father, Leo, or maybe about the males, what he thinks. Is there anyone that uh, Leo is inclined towards and all of those sort of things? And to be honest, guys, let me know how you feel down in the comments below, but I actually really like just observing what's happening and like creating a situation and then watching how it all plays out because we already have in their clubs all these activities that are encouraged. So they're going to go ahead and try and do that on their own. But we're not forcing them to do anything. We're not even forcing our sins to do anything. I don't think I've told them to do anything since this started. And holy crap, okay. Lady Prudence uh, is listening to Alfred's complaints. Okay, well, they're having a really great chat, but she's going to have to go down and start the grand meal. She's going to cook up the grand meal uh, because d dinner party time. Okay, dinner party time. So where is the kitchen? Right, the kitchen's right over here. She's going to have to leave Alfred. I'm sorry, Alfred, but we've got to make a grand meal. Okay, what do we want to cook up? I think we're going to cook up a fish dinner. That sounds pretty nice. So she's going to cook up a fish dinner. She's going to leave Alfred. Oh, Alfred, I'm so sorry. I do realize you're telling us some very interesting and fascinating things, but um, we can continue our conversation once we've cooked some dinner for everyone. And she's slouching a lot, probably because she's old. I was going to say, why is she slouching? Probably because she's old. And oh, 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 what do I see here? What do I see here? Okay, so she is sitting on her parents' bed <laughs> reading something with Frankie Mead. Now, has she met him? I don't think so. She hasn't even met Frankie Mead. The only person she has met is Caden, which is hilarious. But Frankie Mead kind of has the right idea, I guess. He's going around and is trying to uh, be as close to her as possible and just observe her and have her observe him. But he hasn't made any like effort to get into a conversation with her, which is super interesting and hilarious to watch. Okay, she wants to go join a game of chess upstairs, probably with some of the other boys. Are they, is anyone upstairs actually playing chess? It's Caden. Caden's playing chess, so I think she wants to go join Caden. But that's very interesting. Out of everyone, Caden has been the most aggressive in trying to speak to her. Augustine has tried, but I don't think he's managed to do anything because um, he obviously has not introduced himself to Lady Red. So I think Caden probably cut him off, <laughs> which is hilarious. But okay, they're playing over here. Prudence is cooking up some dinner, which is very nice. She's going to, oh geez, we need to clean this up. She's going to lay this down. Uh, Lord Leo is probably going to help clean all of these up uh, and clean this. Oh, no, 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 don't call to meal. Clean this up as well. He's going to help clean all of these and help his wife set up the table so that the actual dinner, part of the dinner party, can take place. Now, it looks like, unfortunately, Malik is not going to be showing up, which is a total shame, but... It's great for him, I guess, because he's safe, at least safer than the males who have attended. But this is very, very fascinating. Once this ends at 2 a.m., we are going to create a club for Lady Red Rose to just compare her relationship with everyone and see who gets in and who gets out. Another reason, I hope that now that she's met most of them, she can just go ahead and invite them without meeting them or befriending them. I don't want that to happen because I feel like you have to become friends or that influences a little bit of your relationship. There we go. And uh, for those of you who are wondering, I think I've explained this in the past, but the reason why I wanted the parents to go ahead and make the clubs and call the men instead of Lady Red Rose is so that she starts off um, at a zero with her relationship to all the other males. And she chooses whether or not she builds that relationship with anyone. Um, and I wanted her to have charge of the situation from the very beginning whereas I feel like if I got them in a group she would have a little bit of relationship with them like because they're acquaintances and stuff so we'll have to see how that goes okay Prudence is gonna lay this out over here I think she's gonna get oh, come on or grab this take this out I just want Lord Leo to pick up yeah I want him to clean up the BLT and then as soon as he's done cleaning up the BLT I'll get Lady Prudence to start the grand meal. Okay, there we go. We're going to call to grand meal 
and get that tradition complete and begin the dinner party. It is 9 p.m., so we do have some time. Look at that, she's ringing the bell and hopefully everyone's gonna gather around this table. And uh, I don't know if we have enough seats for everyone. We've got, how many seats? We've got eight seats. And then we've got eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, we don't have enough seats for everyone, but we're just gonna have to see who manages to get on the table. <laughs> Who's gonna Who's gonna come running for for the dinner party for the food? Mm, nobody's. Caden is putting the trash out. Wasn't he upstairs a second ago? I don't know. Well, I guess not everyone's interested in a meal. Frankie's coming on down. Where's Alfred? Have some of them left? I don't know. See, Alfred's. No, no, no. They haven't. They're upstairs. So it seems as though Alfred's getting along quite well with Augustine. I think they were speaking beforehand. So it seems as though, from what I've observed, Caden gets along very well with Frankie. So it's like they're a pair for now. And Alfred and Augustine are a pair. So they seem to have their friendships and alliances going on, which I find really fascinating. And okay, the others have decided not to join them at... Well, what's this? Isn't that supposed to be complete? Hmm... Unless we have to just get her to finish the meal. We did call the others. Yeah, okay, there we go. Her tradition has gotten complete, so that's pretty cool. Frankie's not even eating anything, so what is up with that? We invited everyone. Why aren't they eating? Okay, we're going to get Lord Leo Rose. Um, I don't want to force them to eat, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Frankie. Frankie. <laughs> I just realized Frankie sat down and he started speaking to Red Rose. Did they? But that's interesting. See, I didn't even get her to introduce herself to Caden. She did that on her own. Or Caden introduced himself to her. And she has been speaking to Frankie and it seems as though she has been speaking to Augustine as well. But she hasn't introduced herself to both of them. So they don't have a relationship with her. Caden's the only one with a relationship. And oh no! Okay, she was going to go speak to Alfred, but she didn't. That ended up cancelling itself out. See, so she chooses. It seems as though she hasn't introduced herself formally. She's only had a little bit of a chat with Frankie and Augustine. Huh. And the, the, none of the men decided to eat. So they, didn't, they weren't interested in dinner. Which kind of sucks, because, hey, that's the whole reason Lady Prudence... Lady Red and Lady Prudence were the only ones who ate. That's a total shame. Okay, Red's gonna go gossip about ancient vampires to her father. She's been keeping very close to her father, and that totally makes sense because she is very close to him. She's not that close with her mother. But they did eat together. She does appreciate her mother's efforts. Hmm. This is so fascinating. I just love this. I love this so much. It's just so interesting to see what they get up to. So interesting. We still have around, like, what, uh, 12... Three hours left. We have around three hours left of this outing or this dinner party before everything ends and we're going to evaluate. Uh, yeah, before we evaluate what the hell is going to happen and who's going to be the first one to get eliminated. Huh, okay. Well, Prudence is going upstairs. Why don't we get Prudence? Oh, oh look at that. Lord Leo Rose, he's going to just clean up his daughter's dishes. That's fine, I guess. We're going to leave the dinner over here in case anyone is hungry and they want to come ahead and eat. Um, Lady Red is very interested. Okay, she's putting away some things. Alfred's just hanging around down here. Okay, that's fine. He's very cute. I love Alfred. He's just hanging around down here, reading a book. What's happening upstairs with the other men? Okay, Augustine's coming on down. No clue where Frankie went. I think they're upstairs, probably playing chess. Um, no, they're not upstairs, unless they've left, I don't know, when Lady Red's going to join her mother, I don't see where Frankie is, um, Caden's downstairs reading something, oh, they're at the table, okay, so, oh, now they've decided to all come on down, jeez, okay, Frankie's eating some fish, thank you, Frankie, I'm glad you appreciate that. Looks like Alfred and Augustine are having a chat about this. Ooh, this, oh, oh goodness. This vampire tome that Alfred has discovered. <gasps> Alfred. Okay, Lord Leo, you're probably going to have to, what is this? He wants to read the encyclopedia. That's great. Lady Prudence, what is she doing? Oh, geez. 
Okay, now Caden's gonna put that vampiric book back. That's dangerous. The boys should not be picking up vampiric volumes. I don't think that's a piece of information the roses want them to know about, find out, and see. No, thank you. So, Alfred, please tell me you're not going to go and grab that again. No, he's grabbing something else. So it looks as though the guys didn't feel safe coming on down. Maybe they felt conscious and awkward, so they didn't come on down when Lady Red was here. But now that Le Red's eaten, they've all decided to just come down and gather around the table, which is quite funny. But okay. See, so Augustine's eating now. I think Caden's going to join in. Yep, the butler's cleaning up. Look, everyone's eating now. Like, close to 1 a.m. Oh, jeez. Alfred, I don't know if he's eaten. He's just going to read some. He's going to read something. Lady Red? Oh, she's decided to join them. <laughs> no? No, okay, well, I guess she's going to put this book back. And Alfred? Uh, oh, he was going to, but he sat back down. He's like, oh, no, Lady Red's in the study. Lady Red, okay, now. Now that he's seeing her come out, he's been avoiding her. Have you guys noticed that? I've noticed that. He's been avoiding her. Okay, Lady Red doesn't seem like she's too interested in anyone. Um, it seems as though the boys are the ones who have to be aggressive to see whether or not they can get her attention. And the only one who's actually been successful has been Caden. Now, I don't know if she was the one. I think Caden was the one who initiated the conversation between them. But it seems as though he's the only one that she knows. That's not too good for Caden. Not too good. We have like 30 minutes left, and I don't think he's going to survive this. So Caden dug a hole for himself. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. Um, as for Alfred, I think she was going to give him a friendly introduction, but then she cancelled the interaction, so I don't know what was happening with that. So, I don't know, but it seems as though the only person she was bothered giving attention to was Caden Silva, or even getting an introduction of. Damn. Okay, Lady Prudence and Lady Red, um, hopefully getting their relationship up. I think this actually helps your relationship. Yeah, it seems that way, because the green bar is actually going up. And look at her. She Who has she met that aren't in her club? So, she today has met Alfred. So, she's gotten along very well with Alfred, so that's great. The dinner party was successful. Okay, guys. So the dinner party is over, and that means we have to decide who gets eliminated. Right, so, oh, she was going to go chat with Frankie. She was going to go chat with, oh, Frankie's feeling flirty. Okay, well, we're going to end everything. We're going to end the gathering. We're going to end the gathering. Um, we're going to cancel this because the gathering's over, and we don't encourage interaction after the gathering. So we're going to cancel that interaction. Because we don't want that influencing anything that's already happened. It seems as though, guys, that the first person to get eliminated is going to be Caden. Yikes. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We are going to go ahead. Uh, we are going to... Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go ahead. We've cancelled, and now they're getting thirsty. So they actually lasted quite well. They lasted a while, which I'm very, <laughs> very proud of. Okay, so everyone's gone. We're going to invite... Caden's still here, so we need to keep Caden, actually. We need to keep Caden. So let's ask Caden to hang out. We don't want anyone else. Everyone else, um, we want them to go back home, if, if they can, please. Um, but Caden, we want Caden to stick around. Because he has to suffer the consequences of his actions. So Caden is going to be enticed into sticking around. Probably proud that he's made the most progress than anyone else over here. Where is he? Okay, Caden's waiting just outside. He was about to leave, but Lord Leo's gonna, gonna stop him in his tracks. How's everyone feeling in terms of thirst? Okay, they are starting to get quite thirsty. No, no, no. Okay, well, we're gonna have to invite Caden back. We're gonna invite Caden back because this is important. And then we're probably going to get rid of him. It seems as though so far, uh, Lord Leo likes Alfred the most. So he is most inclined towards Alfred. Caden, what do you mean you're sleeping? Oh, jeez. Okay, we're going to have to figure something out. You know what? We might just have to go visit Caden. Hmm. So we might actually go ahead and do that. So let's take Lady Red Rose. 
She's feeling a little bit thirsty. She's gonna go visit Caden now. So all the boys, I think, I'm pretty sure, have left. And now, Lady Red Rose is going to do the honours of the first person that she had any sort of affections towards. And that was, oh look, Carl's back home. Hmm, and was Caden Silver. So she is gonna go visit Caden at his humble abode. And this episode might be just a tad bit longer than usual. But I'm sure you guys don't mind at all. It's all part of the fun, part of the theatrics. Right, so she's gonna go visit him. And this is gonna be the whole process. And I think that's what's going to happen. They're gonna leave the manor. She's gonna actually, oh, she hasn't introduced herself to him. What? That's crazy, but she knows him. She has the closest relationship with him because he's the only one that she introduced herself to or knew at the um, event. So, okay. She's, so, uh, this, is, this is something that's going to happen after every gathering. This is the process that we're going to go through. So the person that she has the most relationship with, now they don't know that the roses are vampires, right? They think the roses are humans just like them and they're just the lord and lady of the town. But after every gathering, we're going to have an elimination. That's who I was the closest... Um, from the club that came over to Lady Red Rose. Once they all leave the gathering after 2 a.m., Lady Red Rose is gonna visit them in the middle of the night, and this is what she is going to do. She is pretty much gonna reveal herself to them. She is going to take a drink from them. I don't think we need the club right now. I think we're pretty okay. Like, I'm, I'm scared to have the club because from what I have seen with clubs, as soon as you add someone, that adds relationship. And I don't want that because that's going to influence who she gets close to. And I want it to be, you know, out of my control as much as possible. So I think we can be okay with the relationship panel. There's not too many people. We should be able to differentiate. So, okay, she is going to reveal herself to him, her deep, dark, dangerous secret. And she is going to drink his plasma. Yep, she's going to compel him for a deep drink. And I don't think he had this in mind when he was trying his best to get close to her. But that's what he ended up getting. Okay, there we go. Look at her with her red eyes and blood red hair. Okay, does she have... I swear she had... Okay, so it seems as though she's got these marks around her eyes, if you can see. And those are the only signs of, I guess, decay, you could say, on her vampiric form. Her mother has these, like, lines and cracked marks around her mouth. I don't remember what her father has, but she has got these scratch marks on her eyes, which is quite interesting. Maybe she was in a battle. Maybe as a child, she, she got into a little bit of a scuffle with her mother, which is why she doesn't get along with her. I don't know. But she's going to go ahead. Oh, yikes. And she's going to reveal herself to Caden, and she is going to drink his blood. Oh goodness, Caden. I'm so sorry, Caden. And as this is happening, oh, he's going to get eliminated straight after this. So as soon as this happens, he's going to get kicked out from um, Lord Leo's group. Oh, look at that. I feel so bad for him. Lady Red Rose is probably delighted because, to her at least, she gets all these, like, she gets 11 plasma packs in these males. Only the 12th one is someone who she's not going to treat in this savage way. But she has had her drink, and he is going to fall down. He's not going to remember anything that's happening. Lord Leo, meanwhile, is going to go ahead, and he is going to eliminate Caden. Now, Caden has been eliminated... And I guess that means, since we're still going ahead and eliminating, we might not add the extra, the eighth member. So remember how we had someone extra that we were supposed to add? Between the last, I, I think probably in the next episode, I'll go ahead and add them in the next episode. But actually, if we're eliminating people, then we don't have to save up points to get that extra slot. Because we're going to have an empty slot anyways. So, right, we've eliminated Caden, who's no longer going to be part of the candidates from Lord Leo's side. And I'm very fascinated to see what happens next. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.